Much has been made of the latest fifth-generation fighter aircraft, including the American Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II and the Sukhoi Su-57, but there is still a place for Generation 4 Plus aircraft today. Just as the United States is moving forward with its Boeing F-15X to complement the F-35, Russia is taking a similar course with its McCoy and MiG-35 NATO reporting name Fulcrum F, an all-weather combat attack aircraft that was developed to be capable of destroying enemy targets day or night, including moving and stationary ground and surface targets. The Russian MiG-35 which is a follow-up of the MiG-29K and Cub and MiG-29M and M2, is now undergoing its final state trials. The MiG-35 is at the stage of state joint trials and a preliminary certificate has been obtained for launching the production of a pilot batch of the aircraft, said Mushegh Baloyan, director of the MiG-29M, MiG-35 and Light Multi-Purpose Frontline Aircraft Program's directorate at the MiG Aircraft Corporation, a division of the United Aircraft Corporation UAC. The flight personnel are fond of the plane, which is easy to operate and that helps a lot, Baloyan explained in an interview with TASS on May 6. There are issues that do arise in the process of the aircraft's operation and we are promptly ironing them out together with our customer the Russian Defense Ministry. The MiG-35, which was developed to operate in areas of highly intense armed conflicts under an enemy's dense and multi-layered air defenses, began its flight tests and demonstrated its capabilities to potential foreign customers in January 2017. The fighter's factory trials were concluded in December 2017. Since being announced in 2007, the MiG-35S development has been slow and it was only in 2013 that the Russian Air Force announced it planned to order a total of just 37 of the aircraft. To date, 14 MiG-35S have been produced including 6 tests and 8 serial produced aircraft. Russia has remained the sole operator of the MiG-35, but a variant has been considered for export. MiG-35 fighter is the newest aviation complex and the top element in MiG aircraft family. MiG-35 single-seater and MiG-35D twin-seater aircraft are made with fifth-generation technologies. The up-to-date production and technological base was modernized to provide the possibility of high-rate aircraft serial production at the superior level of quality. Pre-production prototypes of MiG-35 aircraft have been manufactured on order of MOD of the Russian Federation and has been tested in the interests of the air and space forces of Russia. MiG-35 fighter is designated to destroy air targets, day and night, under adverse weather conditions as well as the destruction of moving and stationary ground and surface targets. The main feature are Reduced radar signature, three-channel fly-by-wire control system with quadruple redundancy, new-generation avionics, airborne ESA radar, optical electronic station, helmet-mounted target designation and display system. Modern information and control field of a cockpit with high degree of automation, all types of guided and unguided weapon including innovative guided bombs, new engines with increased trust, in-flight refueling and possibility of using as a tanker, complete unification of single-seater and two-seater aircraft, operability and mobility of ground maintenance system. Full cycle of highly professional training for flight and technical personnel. Modern avionics in combination with advanced weapons allow the MiG-35 fighter fulfill a great number of missions. Air superiority gaining against 4 and 5th generation fighters. Interception of existing and being developed air attack means. Ground and surface targets destruction with high precision weapons without entering the air defense zone day and night in any weather conditions. Air reconnaissance using optical electronic and radio technical equipment. Participation in group actions and air control over groups of fighters. MiG-35 is the first Russian aircraft to be fitted with active electronically scanned array radar. The Zaghamay's antenna consists of 160 modules, each with four receive and transmit modules. 
it is believed to offer a 160 km or 85 nautical miles air target detection radius and 300 km for surface ships. Like radar, OLS allows the MiG-35 to detect targets and aim weapon systems. But, unlike radar, OLS has no emissions, meaning it cannot be detected. OLS works like a human eye by getting the picture and later analyzing it. NIPP, the Federal Space Agency Science and Research Institute's engineers have chosen more short wave bands for the matrix, which has increased sensitivity of the complex several times and has increased detection range. The OLS on the MiG-35 is considered to help pilots to spot even the USAF stealth planes. OLS includes a complex of powerful optics with IR vision that makes it impossible for any plane to hide. OLS solves the problem of blurred vision. At speed, each piece of dust can cause harm to the glass of the OLS. The new OLS uses Luco Sapphire, the next hardest material after artificial diamonds, making the lifetime for such glass much longer. According to NIPP engineers, Luco Sapphire is clear for all the OLS emissions and doesn't corrupt the signal, an important factor for the optical systems. The MiG-35 is powered by two Rode 33 MKBS that can be fitted with Clivy T swivel nozzles and a thrust vectoring control TVC, system. The MiG-35's combination of TVC and advanced missile warning sensors gives it the edge during combat. Rode 33 engines generate 7% more power compared to the baseline model due to the modern materials that go into the manufacturing of the cooled blades. The engines provide a higher than average thrust of 9 tons. Road 33 engines are smokeless and include systems that reduce infrared and optical visibility. The engines may be fitted with vectored thrust nozzles, which would result in an improvement in combat efficiency. The aircraft's suite of guided weapons includes KH-31A anti-ship missiles with active radar seekers, the KH-31P anti-radar missiles, KH-29T missiles and CAB-500 KRTV guided bombs. Added, when equipped with an external optical or laser targeting pod, the fighter can use the KH-29 liters A to surface missiles and CAB-500 liters laser guided bombs. These weapons will allow the aircraft to engage aerial and land targets.